Okay, so I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I was going to house the C. Darlini in this, um, but I just find that with my more aggressive species, I prefer to keep them in critter keepers, especially if they are okay with dry conditions because it is just easier to just place the entire container in here and let them come out on their own for one. And for two, I like these little lids at the top where I can just kind of pop them open and shut. And that's how I do tank maintenance instead of removing the whole thing, just to make it like less likely for them to get a chance to escape or bolt on me. So my tactic is to first remove the lid. And there it is. Let me get a better shot for you guys. totally fine. I'm going to go ahead and put this lid over it. And I'm wondering if I should let it come out on its own or if I should try to coax it out a bit. So we're going to try to coax it out first. Oh wow, so beautiful. I hope you guys can see this. But you're going the wrong way. I want you to go the other way. So let's try to get, oh. Come out this way. This way. You can go up, see? Go up, go up, go up. But yeah, you guys, I'm not gonna make her come out. if when she's ready to come out i will go ahead and just let her do it on her own time because it's going to be less stressful for her and it's going to be less stressful for me but what i will do is feed her a nice juicy worm so let's see if she uh, goes for it So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so sorry I kept you waiting for my expo vlog until now, but I just really wanted to dedicate an entire video to this since it is my first old world species. I want to remind those of you who do not keep or are just getting into tarantulas that I do not recommend an old world species as your first. I do have a video of my top five favorite beginner species. Um, all of which are great to start out with in my opinion. I'm not saying that a beginner can't start out with an old world, I'm just saying I don't think it's a great idea for most people to do so. And if you're not really sure about the differences between new world and old world, it really just 
boils down to region and venom. So most actually all of my tarantulas besides the C. darlini currently are New World, which means they come from places like the United States, Mexico, Brazil, and then the Old Worlds, they come from, you know, Africa and Asia. So my C. darlini is from Africa. So yeah, I definitely recommend kind of researching that a little bit more if you're not familiar. In fact, I will actually link a really great video by KC Tarantulas explaining the differences between the two if you're interested in learning about that further. I just wanted to throw out the name that we are giving my C. darlini is Anansi. It is an African spider god and it's really interesting, but my husband thought of the name because it's African and yeah, it just totally makes sense. Yeah, I had a great time at the expo yesterday and oh my gosh, there are two expos next month. The St. Louis Reptile Show has their expo uh, and then Show Me Snakes has their next one. But yeah, definitely uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and thank you for, for doing it if you have subscribed to me. I really appreciate it. I know my channel is still new, but um, the people that comment and I interact with, seriously, you guys are all fantastic. Like, I really appreciate it. So thank you so much. I know I say it, but a lot, but I just, I feel like I can't say it enough. Thank you so much for watching my videos and talking to me and just being really cool. Let me know, what was your first old world? And if you don't have an old world, what would you like your first old world species to be and why? I have an updated collection tour for you guys coming up. I wanted to wait until after this expo because I knew that I was picking up the Pima Chala that I featured in the expo video. Um, I wasn't 100% on picking up the C. darlini until a few days before the expo, but I knew I was getting the Pima Chala and I wanted it to be included in my collection tour. So now that uh, he or she is here, I would really like to show you all of my current spiders and I would like to periodically update you. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.